going on YouTube? Today in this video, we're actually going to be screen printing a multicolor design. I'm going to show you exactly what it is. This is just a little sneak peek. You're probably wondering why I got this hat on. Well, this is the hat the client sent me because he wanted to color match the ink exactly to this shade. And you know how we did that? We did it by an ink mixing, mixing system, which is a Pantone mixing system. As you can see, we got these shades exactly correct. So if you want to learn how to screen print this, watch this video because I take you step by step on what we did and exactly how we printed it. What's going on, everybody? My name is Bobby Danak. Let me take this hat off. I know I can't rock it. I don't think this suits me. But today in this video, we are screen printing a two-color front design, two-color back design with custom neck tags and a custom Pantone color. So stay tuned. All right, here's all the screws that we are printing today. We're gonna load it up onto the press. As you can see, it's empty. It's the best view for a screen printer. Let's load it up. And just like that, we got it all loaded up. Now it's the tedious part, which is kind of the fun part too. We got to get it all lined up and registered. So let's do that. Now, one tip I'm gonna throw at you guys is I like to put my transparency directly on the palette. And I like to line everything up to that. Some people like to screen print their first color first and then line the other screens up to that. But what that does is it's going to be off because when you go to print the first color, the mesh pushes it down a little bit. If you push or if you pull stroke, it's going to pull it up. So it's just not accurate. I like to get it as most accurate as I can by putting it on here and aligning everything to that. So now we're just going to tighten this. Use our micro registrations to get it exactly aligned. And then from that, we'll do all the other screens and move on to printing. So you just wanna to try to get this as close as you can to being exact. As you can see, that's pretty spot on. So I'm gonna leave that like that for now. Come back to it after. Let's do the other screen. And let's bring this down. There. And that's perfect. I hope none of this clogs the screen. Let's hope not. And then we're going to do the same thing for the other design. The two color front, two color back. First thing you want to do before you do that is zero out the micro registrations. So I'm going to zero that out. And then once that is zeroed out, you want to go ahead and center your screen up as flat onto the gate. Bring this design down a little bit. And that spot is good. So now what we're gonna do is register it up to that. You just have to keep messing with all this stuff. Let's do the other screen. This is going to be a colored screen. Flat against that. Bring it down. Once you get used to it, you just get a little quicker with it. Because you know exactly what micro registrations to twist. That looks good to me. 
we'll come back to it. Let's make sure this screen is good now. Just always come back to it. It's just easier that way so you don't. That looks good. I'm gonna just move it around, make sure it is good. See, one thing I don't like about this press, you see, even when it's locked in, it moves like this, ever so slightly. This is why I can't really do pristine, like, spot-on multicolor designs because this press is like this. I don't know what's up with that, but it's just something I have to deal with. great this design again see same thing with this see this is off so we need to adjust this Still to the left. So tedious, you just gotta be patient with this. Sometimes it'll just feel like punching right through the screen, but don't do that. I'm cool with that for now. As you can see, this screen moved to the right. See how that looks. Gotta move it a little bit more. That looks spot on. There we go. All right, everybody. Now what we're gonna jump into is this hat. Now you're probably wondering why I got this hat. The client sent me over this hat because he wants the ink to be exactly this color. Now, how exactly do you do that? Now we're gonna jump into Panto Book, something I have not done on this YouTube channel yet, and this is the perfect video just for that. So we're gonna choose the exact shade that we can find from this Pantone book and then mix it up with the Pantone mixing system. So we are gonna be using an ink mixing system today to match it up exactly to this purple lavenderish color. So let's do that. All right, now here's the shade I found that is closely matched, which is the Pantone Focus 3543 C. That looks like it is the most closely matched. As you can see, Focus, those look pretty darn similar. So let's mix that up. All right, now here's a mixer system we are using today, which is the Anthem. It's from Anthem Screen Prints Company. It's a UMX system. For this, all you do is enter your Pantone color right here, which is a 3543C. They haven't entered the hex code, like the shade here, but we're going to want, I'm going to just do one pound, just because, just in case. So we'll do customized color. And then down here is where it gives you all the ratios of how much white to put, how much marine blue to put, purple, etc. So let's get this going. Now that we got everything printed out, you're able to print this out and it tells you everything, literally everything. It tells you how much white you need. You need white, you need blue, you need purple, you need pink. It tells you exact percentages. It tells you exactly how many grams. That's what the scale is for. And it even tells you how much it's gonna cost you. So this ink will cost me $15 to mix. So this is very, very helpful. And it just works great. This row right here is all the ultimate mixing system inks. So. We need UMX mixing white. The white one is right here. 
which is the whole gallon. We need marine blue, which is marine blue right here. Ultimate purple. Ultimate purple right here. And we need ultimate pink. And the ultimate pink is up here. So these three are what we need. So let's start mixing this up. Let me bring you all closer. Now, the first step, make sure you put on some gloves so ink does not get in your hand because shit can get messy. Now, you want to get your scale. Make sure you get a scale that can count grams. And you want an empty mixing container. You can use anything. I'm going to throw this on there. What I'm going to do, as you can see, it added weight. I'm going to tear. So that means I'm going to zero it out. And I'm going to open this white up. These gallons, man. Let's try to open it up. I'm going to get some... I don't even know what this is. That fell out of the top. What the hell? I don't even know what that was. You want to go ahead and mix your white up. Alright, I switched up the angles and stuff a little bit to make it better for you all. But you want to go ahead and thoroughly mix the white up. This white is creamy. If only white Plastisol ink was like this. Just kidding. And this is a Plastisol mixing system, by the way. So for the white, as you can see, we need 269 grams of white, 0.61. So make sure this is teared out again. Oh, make sure you're in grams. And then we're just gonna slowly add white to it. As you can see, that's 49, and we need 269, so we got a long way to go. That's 103. One fifty seven. One pound of ink might have been a little much on my end, but it's all right. Two thirty, we're almost there. I don't want to add too much by accident. So when you get closer and closer, you want to slowly. Don't add big gulps. Take it slow now, because you don't want to add too much, or else you're screwed. As you can see, I'm at two fifty-five. So I'm getting close. <whistles> 268. And we need 269.61. Come on. Two sixty nine point five. I'm cool with that. <laughs> you don't need to get it exact. You don't want to risk that. I'm not gonna risk that. And then with this ink mixing system, all I do is really just reuse the squeegee because it just wipes off. So let's close the white up. 
So we are done with that. And we're going to put that back. Now let's grab the marine blue. And you want to thoroughly mix all these inks up. Now for this one, we need 53.52. So again, take it slowly. That's a lot. I really don't want to go overboard. Oh, shit. See, you don't want to make the mistake I just made. We were at 269.5. I forgot to zero it out so I could so I could get the measurements for this one. So we were at 269 and I need to add 53 to that. So we're gonna just add 53 to that and go from there. So we need to add this up to 323. So we need to add blue to 323. And the way I got that was by adding 53 grams of blue. Because I forgot to zero this out. You want to zero it out. I'll show you on the next one. So we need 323.2. Cause that's 53 grams of blue. We got 320, so we need three grams. Oh, that's a lot. Ah. So we got 324, we added a little more. So I'm gonna just try to grab some. Let's try to grab some out. There we go, 323, I'm cool with that. I'm gonna clean this up at the end. So now, let's close this up for now. I gotta clean that side piece. So now you wanna tear it again, make it zero. This is what I was supposed to do. Now for the purple, you want 106.14. I don't want this video too long, but it just has to be. I'm trying to explain it all for you, for you guys. So make sure it's teared. So we need 106.14 of purple. This never gets easier. You guys are probably like laughing at me, struggling with this ink, trying to control it. All right. I hope this is helpful for you all. I hope I'm not boring you all by explaining too much, but I just want to explain everything just so there's no questions at the end. This purple is just very creamy, so it's so much harder to get it to work.
and we need 106. That'll be the funniest thing is all this happens and the ink doesn't even look like the one we wanted. Oh! This ink just cannot be controlled. We just added way too much purple. I gotta take that out. 106 is what we need. So we got 108. And 105. Seven. There. I'm cool with that. I'm going to throw this piece out because there's a little bit of blue in here. Now we tear it. Close the purple off. Move on to the next ink. Which is the pink. And we need 24.31 of this ultimate pink. So we tear it, slowly add this, We needed 26 and I added, no, we needed 24 and I added 28. Ugh. All right, well, just take some of it out. Again, that's 25. Twenty four point three. That is exactly what we needed. Twenty four point three one was what we needed. I'm cool with that. Maybe I'll just grab a little bit out. Damn. Perfect. Twenty four point three one. Wow, I should not have talked. Look at this, just bouncing back and forth. Now you just wipe this off and then mix it with a clean spatula. Now it's the fun part where we mix all this together. Wow, look at that. Look at that. That looks sick. I gotta get this on the Instagram. Make sure you follow my Instagram. All right, I had to post that on the story. Make sure you follow my Instagram. It's the same thing as the YouTube channel. Uh, name, Aesthetic Imprints. Post on there daily, so make sure you follow it. As you can see, this looks exactly like that purple that we needed. You just want to thoroughly mix it all together. I don't know about you guys. But this looks pretty spot on to me. Let's go. And it, this will be a little brighter too because it's going to be under a white underbase. So this is great. And one more thing I want to show you all is remember, this is the Pantone we chose. 3543C. Now check this out. That is spot on. So 
we did great. That looks awesome. All right, now that we got everything mixed up, all the inks, I got it all taped up. I loaded it all with ink. Here's the Pantone ink as well. That turned out awesome. I'm just back and forth today. I had two clients just come pick stuff up. So I'm just stopping here, going there. So I just have to keep bouncing off each project. But let's do a test print. Let's grab... Let's grab a black... Let's grab a Teflon sheet. Lay it on here. And do a test print of the back design. So let's come closer. All right, now let's do this test print. You guys are probably like, just shut up and print. First print looks good. What we're gonna do is use some clear transfer tape. This is like vinyl transfer tape. This is great for multicolor prints. I'll show you exactly why. I can get it cut. All right. Then you just want to lay it on there. Get it flat on there. Now this is great because now we can print this directly on there. Flood this ink up. That looks pretty spot on. The only thing is we're having issues with the emulsion. As you can see, it's not printing through. I think I should wipe that with water. And we should be good to go. Now we should move the purple down just slightly. And then we're good to go. Wow, this looks clean though. Damn. Now the reason this tape does wonders is because if you do your first print like this and the colors do not match up and you need to realign it, all you do is wipe this, wipe the second color off and then redo the print. So this saves you a lot on scrap shirts, scrap anything, because all you really do is just wipe this off and realign everything. Now I'm just gonna move this purple screen down a little bit like I needed to. So let's do that. That should be good. Let's see how it is now. As you can see, all the screen is clearing now because I took water and wiped the screen down. And registration is clean as well. I just need to move it slightly that way. And then back up a little bit. So let's wipe it off again. This might be a longer video than I thought. But I'm just taking you along the whole process with me. I'm not showing you just the successes. I'm showing you the downside and all the struggles you do have to go through as a screen printer to get it all aligned. And then back up slightly. Let's see how this prints. Boom, as you can see, you can't even see the white registration marks under the purple anymore. This is why you take your time and make it all perfect because look at this, it looks perfect. And that purple pops. Now, while we are at it, I ran out of those sheets. So I'm gonna have to go to Old Reliable and use a t-shirt. So let's use a t-shirt. So while we're at it, let's do the other, other design, which is the front design. Our squeaky smooth gumper. Let's print the 
white first. That looks perfect. Same thing, let's grab our clear transfer tape. So we're gonna have to just print flash print this and do it the old way, old fashioned way. So you flash it for a couple seconds. As you can see, that's coming on my hand. You don't want that. So we need to flash it a little longer. Carpet is vacuumed. To the people that hate it when it's not. Now I know this screen It's going to eat through all my white ink Because look at It's just like a big blob of white ink But It's all good So the print can come out fire I made sure to have an under base So I just made it all white To be able to do the under base That looks good Let me let it cool off a little bit. You want it to cool off before you go ahead and do the second print or else it's just gonna stick to the other one, which it might still stick. I'm sure it will because I'm gonna just let it cool off. Until then, I'm gonna wipe this with water just in case this one decides to clog up on me. Do this. Yep, as you can see, it's getting stuck. But as you can see, registration is pretty much spot on. I just need to bring the screen to the right a little bit more. Other than that, we're good. Let me, so let me bring it to the right. Throw this in the conveyor. Wow, that looks, that looks fire. There we go. on a white one for the time sakes right, let me try to flash this even though I know flashing is going to shrink it a little bit on this sheet I feel bad this video is getting kind of long I know you guys have busy days. This one got stuck again. Boom! As you can see, that is clean. I'm happy with that. That's clean. Maybe just move the top to the right still a little bit. Other than that, that's clean. So let's move the top. Now I'm sure this is gonna be fire. It better be, cause I'm going back and forth. White. Print flash print on the white.
Now, since I am showing you all of this front and back print, I'm not going to show you guys too much of me printing. I'm just doing going to do a time lapse. So this video is not too, too long. Um, you guys get the gist of the explaining a hard part. This is the hard part. So one tip, you see how this is getting stuck on here? One tip I'll give you is spray silicone spray on your other printed colors because that'll make it easier so it doesn't stick. This is hot. Let it cool off. All right, now we gotta slightly move it back to the left. Other than that, we should be good. So let me do that real quick, see if I can fix it. No, a little more. That should do it. Boom! Let's get this going. So as you saw, we screen printed this multiple times with testers. And as you can see, this turned out, I mean, clean and fire. And compared to the hat, it's pretty spot on. And also, you want to make sure to do the stretch test. Now, this would crack like crazy because all of that white ink. But as you can see, this is not cracking. We are good to go. So what I'm going to show you guys is one shirt. Um, me printing it live with you all, the navy blue shirt. So let's do that. All right. Here's the shirt we are printing, all those shirts. So let's add it on. To the palette. We're going to do our white, the first white, send it to the flash for a couple seconds. Got a pin hole, good thing. I did a test print, like always. We got a pinhole down here. We're going to do a second print of white. That looks good. Print, flash, print. And then since we do have a white underbase for the purple, we only need one print because there's a white underbase. If there wasn't a white underbase, I would be doing a print flash print with this. As you can see, I see some ink came on me. So I'm going to flash it a little longer. Now I'm going to let it cool down a little bit. Just... So this doesn't stick on here. Now we're good. And there we go. That looks clean. I think some ink being clear. Well, we might have to do a print flash print. The white is not really absorbing this ink anymore on this one, which is fine. I don't mind doing extra work or extra quality. There we go. That looks amazing. Check this out. check that out but we have some issues going on i don't know why the white keeps showing i don't know what's going on with that this happened in another video 
it was a box hoodies this happened same issue i don't know what's going on with that i'm gonna try to figure this out and get back to you all what's going on everybody as you saw from the last clip i was having some difficulties printing the front and then i tried the back print and it printed perfectly i figured out the issue um the issue with this with this one was the off contact was not there i even noticed it that's why the off contact was only messing up the print was only messing up on the left side because the left side was lower so what i did with that was put a quarter right there what that quarter does gives you con constant off contact about a quarter inch now i have constant off contact which makes my prints perfect and the reason the back print turned out perfect was because the off contact is there and it's perfect as you can see my off contact there is perfect that's why that printed well so everything is good to go i just printed the back design it's coming out of the conveyor dryer as we speak any second now i'm gonna grab it and show you all but i could have easily not shown you guys this struggles um the the obstacles that come in the way from screen printing could have easily just hidden this and made it seem like it was perfect but i want to show you guys the transparency this that it is a struggle but when you just persevere through it you will figure it out it's just troubleshooting you'll figure it out as you can see check this out as you can see there's no issues with that the front turned out great so you know what that means summer 2021 we outside let's begin production And we got the front print done. That looks so clean. Look at that print. I mean, smooth, clean, everything went well. Let's move on to the now front. We're actually gonna do the neck tags. You wanna line it up, get it all organized to your sizes. Rip the tag out. And simply screen print your custom tag. And look at that. There you have it, everybody. These two color prints turned out awesome with this Pantone mixing system. And the custom neck tag just, just finishes the whole package. And the back print, summer 2021, be outside. As I mentioned, the customer actually dropped this off, shipped this to me just because he wanted the Pantone color to be exactly, that was a fail. He wanted the color to be similar to this hat. And I think I got it pretty spot on. This was all because of the Pantone mixing system. Everything turned great. That was something new I showed you all today. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Anyways, the two color prints did turn out awesome. As you saw, we went through some hurdles and obstacles, but we bounced right over and that's what matters. Everything turned out great. At least we got a finished product and everything is great. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you want to stay tuned or connected with me, follow me on Instagram. I post on there daily. I post stories like this. Some of you already follow me. You probably saw this print before it even came to YouTube. So follow me on Instagram at Aesthetic Imprints. Same thing as the YouTube channel. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe right here. Check out these videos. And remember, no grind, no glory. And I'll see you in the next one.